Hi everyone. Today discussion is about intermittent fasting. I am Sasi, professor at ES College of Nursing. My department is Community Health Nursing. Objectives. At the end of the session, the students are able to explain what is intermittent fasting, enlist the types of fasting, narrate the difference between fasting and calorie restriction, apply self-check questions. Introduction. In recent years, people worldwide increased popularity for weight loss, diet plans and weight maintenance program. Out of the many various methods to lose weight, the most popular recently used method by the people is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting involves a calorie gap used for weight loss of one day or more per week. Regular as long lasting quick. It does not say that what food eat it. And there are several fasting methods, all of which separate the day or week into meal times and fasting periods. It helps in improving the body mechanisms, lose weight and it also helps in extending the span of life. With this introduction, we are heading into the topic. The history. Here, the Krista Varadi, an associate professor of nutrition at the University of Illinois, Chicago, created the every other day diet which she based on her research findings as it names implies this plan involves alternating the fast and feast days and now we have come to the types of intermittent fasting so we have different types of intermittent fasting the first one is 16 is to 8 method and 5 is to 2 method eat stop eat method alternative day fasting method and warrior diet spontaneous meal skipping these are the method we are going to discuss one by one the first one is 16 is 8 method it is otherwise called as a time restricted feeding this method will help to losing the weight and here the i mean the heading itself we could see 16 is 8 16 is 8 in the sense like uh, we have overall 24 hours Okay, the picture itself they have shown 16 hours we need to be fast, 8 hours we need to get feed. Alright, so span of 8 hours per day calorie intake is followed. The rest 16 hours in a day to only fast. Should not be taken junk foods or snacks during the eating window. And eating a more balanced diet comprising of vegetable fruits, healthy fats, whole grains and adequate proteins. So they were mainly saying about 16 hours we need to be fasted. 8 hours we need to take food as much as we want and that calorie also need to be restricted. We should avoid the junk foods and snacks during the eating period and as well as it is better to have a vegetables diet and fruits and healthy fats diet. This is what and as well as adequate protein also need to be taken. So you have understood about the 16 is to 8 method and coming to the 5 is to 2 method. 5 to 2 method in the sense it's like it's like a consent from family doctor we need to get a consent and eat as usual for 5 days of week without any restriction of calories and remaining 2 days calorie intake has to be reduced 1 quarter of daily needs as for example what they were telling every in a week we have a 7 days as you can see in the picture like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday until Sunday they have given and every day like how much you want to take according to the weight maintaining or weight reducing or weight increasing then uh, like uh, you have some weight according to our weight you have some kilo calorie you, you have to take so only five days you can take as your body needs kilo calorie like um, like they have given Tuesday, Wednesday Thursday, Friday, uh, I mean not Thursday, it is Friday, Saturday, Sunday and remaining two days they have to be in the, they have to follow the, this kind of intermittent fasting method where Monday they have taken 500 kilo calorie and the Thursday they have taken 500 kilo calorie. So it should cover at least one fourth of the kilo calorie how much they should take. For example, if they, they want to take 2000 kilo calorie, they have to take two days for only 500, 500 kilo calorie. If they want to take like uh, other like 4000 kilo calorie, if they, there is no 4000 kilo calorie, if suppose, then it should cost 1000 kilo calorie. This is what the ratio. So, every two days, I mean all seven days, two days they have to maintain the restricted kilo calorie. Like, you have, hope so you have understood about this. Then coming to the 
here also they have given 5 to 2 method men are recommended to have 600 calories and women are recommended to have 500 calories on the fasting days it is comfortable to have a 500 calories for women and it is 600 calories is recommended for men during the fasting days but you should not go below that right okay and the name eat stuff eat method okay eat stop eat method you see the picture you could understand day one day two until day seven they have given and day one they will be eating normally and day two they will be in the fast for 24 hours and day three again they are going ahead with the normal diet and uh, day four also normal one and day five 24 hours fast and day six and day seven and they will be having the normal diet usually the hindu tradition they are even, even different kind of tradition they will follow them um, eat uh, stop eat method some people they used to say i am just uh, fasting for uh, lord muruga i am fasting for lord ganesha the whole throughout the day they will be in the fast like uh, one day they leave uh, like monday they leave some people will fast on the tuesday likewise the eat stop eat method okay, could be followed okay and one or two non consecutive days per week is to be identified during which one will be fasting for a whole day the other days of week a normal diet pattern can be followed this is what they were trying to say here eat stop and eat method right okay then it is recommended to have well balanced diet also overeating should be avoided. yes of course it is because sometimes if we are in the fasting and uh, next day comes for uh, uh, feast day i mean when we want to take our adequate calorie we should take recommended calorie we should not go beyond the level because uh, if you go beyond the level that fasting won't be that much effective hope so so most of you find it very difficult to fast for a full 24 hours a day period of time yes it is so tough to maintain 24 hours fasting right and next one is alternative day fasting method the every alternative day you can fast and other day you can eat as you like so and the diet has the diet has the modified plan where one can eat up to 500 calories on the day of fasting so it is compulsory they already said at least 500 kilo calorie they should take i mean 500 calories they should take for a fasting day that should not go below that here they have given the picture over here alternative day fasting day one eats normally day two 24 hour fast or eat only a few hundred calories whether the people who I mean don't uh, want to fast for throughout 24 hours to, the people who can't fast for 24 hours then they can take only few hundred calories and day 3 it's normally and day 4 24 hours fast and eat only few hundred calories as I said earlier so this is called as the alternative day fasting where one day they will be eating and another day they will be in the fasting okay and coming to the warrior diet so they have given warrior diet and still uh, through one week they can uh, follow this they have given here you see midnight 4 a.m it starts from 4 a.m and um, again it start again with the 4 a.m end with the 4 a.m only day one if you're starting 4 a.m eat only a small amount of vegetables and fruits and remaining time until 4 to 12 p.m you are eating this and after the 12 p.m you are being in the i mean 4 p.m you are in the last meal again after that you will be in the fasting the same way you can follow it during 20 hours of the day only very little food should be consumed and in the remaining four hours window as much as possible can be consumed so during the 20 hours they say little amount remaining four hours it is much more amount during the 20 hours fasting period a small amount of boiled eggs so few food items they have suggesting you here uh, a veggies and raw fruits and minimal dairy products can be consumed along with any no calorie foods the, the, the foods which have more calorie that should be avoided all right and uh, alternative day fasting combined with endurance exercise can give you a double impact effect on weight loss yes they want if they want to do some kind of exercise like uh, jogging and uh, running and walking those kind of endurance exercise it give great impact after this period during the eating window only the healthy foods are recommended such as unprocessed and organic foods like you should avoid the fast food and uh, processed food right and coming to the spontaneous meal skipping this plan is just to, to 
skip meals when you like or when you are not hungry or when you do not find time to cook due to other works yes it is like a skipping the meals when usually people says and we need to eat 80 percentage of food which we if we need 100 percent food also we need to i mean three fourth of the stomach we need to leave one fourth of the stomach like that they people used to say but here they were telling about the when you feel is it's a very compulsory important to have a food when you feel hungry if you don't have hungry you don't need to have take the for the sword they telling here they have given the uh, i mean the flow ch- you can see that picture and you can uh, see where they are missing the uh, meals right skip the meals you can see over there right and um, how we can succeed with an intermittent fasting protocol if you want to succeed we need to have some of the uh, some of the things we need to focus like uh, uh, food quality the foods you eat are still important try to eat mostly whole single ingredient foods and calories calories still count try to eat normally during the non fasting periods not so much that you compensate for the calories you missed when fasting yes it's very important this calories calories count because we want to reduce the weight so we need to have only a prescribed amount of calories if you again in the in, during the uh, fast time also if you are taking that diet that will compensate it so that won't be use um, uh, that won't reduce the weight the next one is consistency just as with any other weight loss method you need to stick with the bit for an extended period if you want it work yes you need to consistently do the same thing patience it can take your body some time to adapt an intermittent fasting protocol yes all bodies are different different uh, different uh, i mean body i mean diff- we we may feel every bodies are different and they are uh, physiological systems also different right some people uh, adapt very soon some people will not adapt very soon so it takes time to adapt to that need patience and we have uh, effects of intermittent fasting on hormones yes the hormones has uh, intermittent fasting has more impact on the hormones the hormones are insulin insulin is the important hormone which convert the blood glucose into the glycogen that's what our blood glucose level will be maintained in the blood then thyroid hormone is also one of the important hormones which is working in our body that will maintain the thyroid levels in the body the next one is cortisol cortisol it is a, like we can call it as a uh, stress hormone so if you if the, the intermittent fasting will have effect on cortisol the cortisol hormone level has to be monitored maintained in the body right now we are going to differentiate i mean we are going to see the fasting versus calorie restrictions fasting body turns on ketosis body never fully turns on ketosis ketosis causes fat loss fat is lost but refeeding syndrome occurs and fat is rapidly regained no refeeding syndrome to cause later weight gain body stress and cortisol is high no stress response by body if not done in extreme but here it is extreme leads to starvation metabolic rate only decreases about 29 kilo calorie per day in the fasting metabolic rate drops by 76 kilo calorie per day in calorie restriction yes okay these are, these are some of the simple way to start fasting start with extending your overnight fast by 2 hours 3 days per week like uh, previously we have discussed about 16 is to 10 16 hours fasting i mean 16 is to 8 yes but now we can do 14 hours is to 10 also once you are comfortable and extend it out to the 16 is to 8 i mean here they what they were t- saying here 14 hours we can be the fast then 10 hours we can take the diet instead of uh, taking 16 is to 8 when you are once you are comfortable with the 14 is to 10 then you can go ahead with the 16 is to 8 If you are tolerating 16 8 3 days a week increase to 5 days a week once you are tolerating this then we can go up to the 5 days also ultimate goal would be 16 8 every day of the week that's what they were telling and this is what a self check and uh, is, is is it com- is it important is it compulsory everybody has to know their health status is um, uh, here i mean to you if you say yes for each question give one score if you say no give zero score totally here we have four six right totally we have 
six. If you are getting six out of six, then you are health is you are maintaining the health is very correct way. If it's not comes come coming it's it's comes uh, below uh, six, it is you need to little more have a concentration over your health. Right. So the first question is be conscious. Are you sleeping six to eight hours per day? Are you walking at least two kilometers per day? Are you including at least one variety of pulse, two veggies in your diet every day? Are you meditating at least five minutes per day? Are you drinking 2 liters of water every day? Your BMI is on normal level. If anybody got 6. So, sleep. Sleep is important one. Unless until we sleep, like us, our body needs food the same way. The body needs sleep also. If you are sleep adequately, then the next day you will feel fresh and good enough the same way you need to have at least six to eight hours of sleep the walking exercise it is so important to have at least two kilometers walking per day or at least one hour exercise per day because when you walk our positive hormone like endorphin kind of hormones will get increases that gives pleasure i mean that gives a uh, positive mo mood to ourselves like two kilometers in a sense like one hour walk also you can divide like morning 30 hours 30 minutes and sorry uh, uh, evening 30 minutes i mean 30 30 together it comes one hour okay the 30 minutes also we can divide it into like 10 minutes take a break and 10 minutes take a break and 10 minutes like morning uh, 30 minutes you can do continuously i mean with the break also without break also you can do 30 minutes and the evening also we can do 30 minutes walking exercise right hope so you understood about this and next one is pulses veggies at least one variety of pulse and two veggies in your diet every day need to be included so it gives more protein yes and regarding the meditation at least five minutes per day because when you do the meditation that keeps our body healthy as well as mind also so we need to be emotionally intelligent we need to have at least five minutes meditation every day water is the essential one at least two liters of water every day makes our immune system happy and keep our immunity in a normal level right so it is very important to drink at least two liters of water every day and as i already said the normal bmi is 18.5 to 24.9 if you are in the normal bmi it's well and good if you are not so you work you do some work to keep your normal bmi in the con in the level of 18.5 to 24.9 yes so as a conclusion everybody want to look fit and healthy so if you want to look fit and healthy beautiful so we need to maintain our bmi so uh, this is the one of the intermittent fasting is the one of the method which help us to make your body healthy as well as fit so as a conclusion we have discussed about different kind of intermittent fasting method so intermittent fasting is a convenient way to lose weight without counting calories the main benefits of intermittent fasting is that it makes healthy eating simpler thus making it easier method to stick in the long run for weight loss interestingly some studies have shown that intermittent fasting may be beneficial for maintaining muscle mass while losing body fat however it is important to keep in mind that all the person does not need to exclude certain foods does not need to exclude certain foods from their diet they should still aim to eat balanced diet rich in protein fiber and vegetables reference i have taken this content from the journal thank you so much for listening my audio as well as the content thank you once again